Hey fellas, let's work today. Let's focus. We still got it. We still got the main thing, right? Yes, sir. Let's keep the main thing. The main thing. Say that. Keep the main thing. The main thing. Keep the main thing. The main thing. Let's go. What's going on there, guys? We back with another one. And we're going to speak a little bit more about Coach Prime, man. Uh, he delivered a heartfelt speech to the guys before they went off and got on their flight to go play in the bowl game against North Carolina Central. But first, before we get to that speech, we got to praise Coach Prime for using this opportunity at Colorado to bring some brothers along with him. Yeah, I feel like this hasn't been talked about enough in the media. So the first thing we're going to look at, he's hired Mississippi Valley State former head coach uh, Vincent Dancy. He will join the Colorado staff as an assistant coach. Andre Hart, who will likely be with the linebackers. He brought in a coach named Willie Taggart that coached at Florida Atlantic University. He brought in his own Kevin Mathis, who coached the defensive backs and was responsible uh, for coaching up his son Shiloh Sanders while at Jackson State. Brought him along. Brought in also brought in David Kelly from Florida Atlantic University. And so, looking at that, that's just a few guys that he brought in on his coaching staff. But we have to look at this, right? So I wanted to see what the average salary for a Jackson State assistant coach was, and that's probably like the ballpark for most of these universities I just named. You know. Um, but when I look at the assistant coach salary, it's around $25,000 a year. I looked up the salary pool for Colorado assistant coaches, and I wanted to just see uh, roughly how much they make or how much money they have to play with. So it said Colorado had 10 assistant coaches and it, with $3.5 million to disperse. Now, obviously, they aren't going to get paid evenly based on whatever job they're doing, right? But it just hypothetically if they were paid evenly it would be three hundred and fifty thousand. big salary increase for these guys so round of applause right there for coach prime man because uh seeing these guys get broke off like that and you got to look at it this payday is probably their biggest one of their lives so round of applause again man and i also looked up i was curious about um what mississippi valley state head coach made and I could only find like a median and it says uh, the men's team head coaches make about 64000 each year. So even with the Mississippi Valley State head coach going over there with Deion to Colorado, his salary is going to be greater than it was as a head coach for Mississippi Valley. So round of applause, man. And also Mississippi Valley State was in the SWAC. So he's bringing a SWAC brother along with him. I mean, you can't do nothing but salute that. I don't think enough had been made about him providing opportunities for guys in his league or at lower uh, programs that would probably never get this look from a bigger program. So salute to Coach Prime for that, man. And let's check out what he had to say to the players before they got on before they got on the road. He's going to be allowed to coach them in this bowl game against North Carolina Central, man. So I'm looking forward to it. But hey, check out what he said. We're not gonna allow a moment of pleasure to distract us from a lifetime of satisfaction and achievement. The mission we own is not complete. We have one more step to take. One more game to play. Several more touchdowns to score. A dominant day on defense. Special day in special teams. Lord, we thank you, we love you, we magnify you so much, we glorify you. We thank you for such a time as this. You separate us, you called us from to and fro to come to this moment, for this day, for this time. Lord, we ask you to guide us and keep us safe in our travels. Not allow the enemy to attack, to dissuade, to distract us from our goals, dreams, and ambitions. Father, keep every one of these men and women safe and all count. We love them, we appreciate them, we adore them. We want them to live the life that you've called them to live. So Lord, let us unite, let us come closer together than ever before to understand that we're so 
so close, but yet so close. Lord, we love you. We appreciate you. And we thank you before. In Jesus' name, let everyone shout amen. Amen. You guys be safe on your trips, on your travels. Ladies, be safe. Make sure you understand that we, we have one more to go. We haven't eclipsed our dream. We haven't realized our dream yet. We have one more to go. So don't forfeit it over something crazy. Remember what I told you. Everybody that's clapping ain't necessarily clapping for you. I think y'all found that out in the last week. Everything that's smiling ain't smiling for you. Everything that has love that don't necessarily have love for you. But I'm proud of you. Yeah, man. So I guess what people have to look at is what Coach Prime doing elevating these assistant coaches, these head coaches from lower level D1 or other SWAC schools, is that good enough? Or do they still think he feel like he should have toughed it out at Jackson State? Because these, like as I mentioned earlier, these guys are going to get bigger paydays than they've ever seen in their lives. Most of them anyway, if they didn't play in the league or something like that. Because it, a part of that is using your light to help bring others up. He's helping his brothers get more money than they've ever seen. And not only that, these positions that he's provided... There are opportunities at the same time because say he goes to Colorado, they become a powerhouse. Say they become like a like an Alabama or something like that. Or not even that. They just become a very good team. They become a very good team, always in the top 15, top 25 programs in the nation, right? Then some of these assistants he's bringing with them, what if some of these uh, young African-American coaches start to get opportunities at other power five schools is it still like a sellout move to some people then because let's just face it man um these guys like the ones that come from mississippi valley state come from jackson state they're still able to impact those programs and i'm gonna tell you how back when i used to do ncaa scouting and stuff coaches that get elevated like this you could have understudies coming from up under them and they'll try to get these jobs later. And sometimes the vouch or the recommendation from these coaches is, is that last little piece of credibility they need to get these positions. So if these guys go on and do great things, get jobs at different institutions, they may even get jobs at other HBCUs, but some of these assistants may end up being head coaches this time. So you know, this, I think, is a good experience, man, especially he's bringing people with him from the SWAC. Um, now, he's got some other assistant coaches from different places, too, uh, some from Power 5 schools, but he brought these guys to the work. So it isn't just like a move for prime. I know one of the things he wanted to do at Jackson State is get some of his assistant coaches more money, and he did just that with this move. And also he brought um, – Somebody he was competing against from Mississippi Valley State with him. So, hey, man, I think it's a boss move all in all. But let me know what you guys think. Is this a great move for Coach Prime or is it still a sellout move? What y'all feel like? Because I know it felt like it was a sellout move, but I know some people see it differently. So let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace out.